Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PC. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this both over wired and wireless. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first method and probably the most consistent is going to be the wired method. For this, you're going to be needing a USB-C cable that supports data, or you can use the included one that came with your PlayStation 5. I'll also be leaving links in the description down below to some other ones you can find on Amazon. From this point, all you need to do is grab your PlayStation 5 controller. We're going to be flipping it to the top and we're going to be looking for the USB-C port here on the top of your controller. And all you need to do is plug your USB-C cable into this and then plug the other end into your PC. Once you do this, you'll get a pop-up on screen to say your PlayStation 5 drivers are installed and a couple of seconds later it should pop up with this device is ready to go and that means your PlayStation 5 drivers have installed correctly they're ready to go and you're ready to start using your PlayStation 5 controller on your PC this is a super easy method and just like that your controller is connected to your PC the second one we're going to be doing is wireless or more specifically Bluetooth and of course for this method to work your computer is going to need to have Bluetooth either built in or you're going to have to use a USB dongle again I'll be leaving links in the description down below so you can check out we're then going to be turning on our controller and we're going to be putting it in pairing mode from this point I would recommend if you have a PlayStation 5 close by that you fully turn it off so you don't accidentally turn it on using this method and then all we need to do is turn on our controller and we're going to be pressing both the power and the share button together for a couple seconds and we're going to be putting our PlayStation 5 into pairing or searching mode. Once you do this correctly, your PlayStation 5 controller will start to blink in blue, and that means it's currently searching. From this point, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming over to our PC, we're going to be clicking on the start button, and we're going to be searching for Bluetooth. Once you do this, you'll see the Bluetooth and other device settings here in your Windows. We're going to be clicking this open, and the first thing we need to do is make sure our Bluetooth is currently turned on. Once your Bluetooth is turned on, we're going to be coming up to the top here, and we're going to be looking for the add Bluetooth or other devices. And here we're going to have to choose one of these three from the pop-up. In today's video, we're just going to be choosing the Bluetooth one here at the very top. We're going to need to click it, and then we're going to start searching for new Bluetooth devices. Now, if you've taken too long between putting your controller in pairing mode and setting this up, you may need to just double check to make sure your controller is in pairing mode. And if you need to do that again, be sure to do that. Now, eventually your controller will show up here under devices as wireless controller. It may take a couple of seconds to show up, but just make sure your controller is close to your computer. All you need to do is click on this. It then took a couple of seconds to connect together. And when your controller is fully connected, the light will turn to a solid blue. You'll also get this pop-up message on screen to say your device is ready to go. And now your controller is fully connected and paired to your PC. And it's as easy as that to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PC using both wired and wireless. Now, one extra thing you might want to do is set up your controller fully on Steam. I'm not going to be showing you that in today's video, but I'll be leaving a card on screen to show you how to set up your controllers on Steam. It's really easy to set up, so it'll most likely automatically work in a lot of games, or you can feel free to manually map everything in there. I'll leave a card on screen. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.